All right. Hey, how's it going, everyone? So uh, nobody's probably watching. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to do some drawing practice on the uh, remarkable. I'm sorry. This isn't the remarkable. The remarkable somewhere around here. This is the Supernote Rata, uh, Supernote from Rata A5X. And so one of the things I wanted to start doing is just practice drawing uh, on a daily basis, the same thing over and over and over again, so that I can, uh, get familiar with, um, working with this platform. Uh, same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with the remarkable, but also just to sharpen my drawing skills. Cause I suck at drawing. So what I picked was the among us, uh, characters, uh, just cause they're super simple characters. As a matter of fact, um, I've done some practice ones back here, so like this one here, um, and then this one. Um, they're super simple, and what I really like about them is the fact that uh, they encompass some shading, which um, I think is is worth practicing on these e-ink tablets, and then very simple, bold lines, uh, and I can get away with doing it without color. So... I just thought I'd sit here real quick um, and do a practice run and sort of think through um, how I want to do this. So uh, I'm on the main layer. I haven't created any new layers yet. And what I thought I would do is go ahead and just pick um, a light gray color and uh, and do some sort of sketch uh, line to see like where I want to go. And those of you who are actual like legit artists are going to laugh at this because uh, this is a really simple character, um, but I'm not a, an artist, so drawing this kind of thing is really something that, that challenges me. Um, so the other thing I'm going to do is I, I have a tendency to hit, uh, like, because I'm right-handed, the X button is here, and uh, all of that, the page adjust button is there. So I'm going to um, get that out of the way by just scrunching down that toolbar there and that way I'm not accidentally hitting anything and um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by drawing sort of the base um, character and I think that'll be a good place to start like I said it's a super simple character um, and then and then I'll refine from there like that's I think that's too wide of a body so let me go back here I'm going to start that over again I think that's better yeah I think that's probably better and then he's got this like like eyepiece there and then he's got a backpack like really that's as simple as it gets um so i'm going to go ahead and, and stick with this one right now uh the way it is so what i'm going to do is uh, let me expand this toolbar i'm going to add another layer and uh this is going to be layer one which is going to be my um i'm gonna make it my main um layer i know it says main layer but my 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 layer oops that i want to color on so um i don't know if you can see here i've got three layers one is the background which is white one is the main layer which is what i just drew this on and one is the top layer layer one which is what i just uh activated and so because i did that i'm going to come in here with um with a dark line let's do let's do two and now I'm just going over what I just did see and if I get something like that that I goof up on um, I can just back out of it Oops. 
Told you guys I suck at this. I mean, it's such a simple character. But if it doesn't look right, then um, then it doesn't look right. So all right, so there is my outline of this guy. And um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with that. I don't know if, yeah, I guess the backpack. I'm going to make the backpack a little bit. No, I'm going to leave the backpack alone. Now, I do have this little section here. I'm going to erase that. Um, just, I'm going to work my way into it. Clean that up. Now, I've got this pencil line, quote-unquote pencil line, which is, uh, I did it in a gray. If I hide this top layer, you can see that's still there. So I'm going to go back to the main layer, uh, make it active, and uh, I'm just going to erase that entire layer now. Delete. So now all we see is that dark line that I drew. So now I have to figure out sort of the shading. I'm going to go, um, let's see, where am I at? I'm going to stay on the, the layer underneath the main layer, or layer one, which is where my drawing is. And that way, when I'm drawing, I'm actually drawing under it. So as an example, um, I'm going to draw a gray. Once that refreshes, you can see it's underneath the the black of the other layer. So um, what I'm going to do is use that as a way to sort of um, work my shading. So I think I want to do something like that. Let's go with that. Um, and I'm going to come in here and just shade around this. Now, it looks like I'm on top of it, but I'm actually underneath it. I know it's kind of weird. And now I'm going to switch to the marker and uh, same color. Just give me a little bit bigger stroke here. If you do have any questions or whatever, if you want to comment, I will try and pay attention to that. But... I'm really just doing this as a test run because I plan to do a live stream uh, in a couple days and I wanted to make sure that I could actually get this done. So I thought using my practice time would be a good way to do that. All right, so that's that. I am going to erase this. I got a little section right there. I'm gonna erase that. Uh, now I've got to do some shading on the backpack. I'm gonna use a similar shading. Mm, I don't like that back that up I don't want to do it like that see how that looks and erase off of that side okay um, and then I've also got some shading here let me go back to a Back to the two. And this is going to go something like that. You can see that. I don't really play Among Us. I like it, um, but I don't have time for little games like that usually. So, But I think their characters are kind of cool. And as you can see, um, fun to sort of draw. All right, so... I've got the darker shade. Now I'm going to shade uh, the light shade. So I'm going to go back into my marker, choose the lighter gray. And um, that's going to be this right here. And um, the interesting thing about this and the way it works is, let me just refresh this whole screen, is it it will not overwrite the darker gray. So I don't have to be real precise on this uh, area where they converge. And it will be under the black because 
that's a different layer anyway. So all I really have to do is just generically stay in the lines. And even if I mess that up, I can just take the eraser and come over here and sort of erase out of it. All right, so that's that. Oh, and I need to do this uh, section here. And there's one more spot. It's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a reflection in his visor. So let's do a two, and I'll change it to white, and then we'll just put that right there. That that is essentially an Among Us character. Um, yeah. So. Right now it's on two layers in that if I hide the main layer, that's where all of the um, uh, shading is. And then layer one has the actual body. The downside of that is there's no, none of the tablets actually right now have the ability to merge layers down. So if I want to say copy this, um, I'm going to have to copy it as individual layers, which could be a pain in the butt. Uh, so, for example, um, I'm on uh, the 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 main layer. If I just select this up and then move it, you can see it's separate from the rest of it. I'll just move it off to the side a little bit so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, that's that's just one layer, and then I've got the other layer. So, uh, because I don't have a way to merge layers, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to stay on this layer and I'm going to retrace that outer line just so that I have it all on one layer. So back to a two. Oops, I'm in white. I do not want to be white. I want to be black. So black. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going over my same lines. And then I'll clean it up here in a minute. If I was just going to export it out, it would be fine as multiple layers. But if I wanted to copy it and say move it to a different notebook, or even shrink it down in this notebook or enlarge it. It's so much better to have it all on one layer. Maybe this is inspiring somebody to practice drawing. All right, so let me go through and hide layer one. Oof. So I'm going to sort of fold in these lines up a little bit and make it a little bit more, I don't know, bold. A little less precise. Now, if I do have a spot I want to clean up, like I really think that that got a little bit too wide right there. I'm going to take the eraser and erase it down. Then I can clean it up. There we go. Is 
attack pack is probably fine. Yeah, there we go. There is um, an Among Us character. It looks like I do have a little bit of overlap right here, so I'm just going to trim that down. And now um, I can delete layer one, which is unused. So now I, all of this is only on one layer. I'm going to refresh the screen real quick. And uh, I've got a I've got a couple spots that I could sort of make sure I have filled in here. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so now this is all one object. Oops. Dang it. I always forget. I, I touch it with my hand and that doesn't work. I have to drag it around with the pen. But you can see now. It's one solid object. So with that, I can copy it and um, and I can put it on a different page. Um, or or I could just copy it in general, which right now it is on the clipboard. So let me uh, expand that. Actually, let me go ahead and put it back up here. Create a new page and I can paste and there it is. Paste, drag with the pen, and then I can resize him, make him small, and then do whatever I want with him, including rotate. And uh, duplicate. So that's the benefit of having it all as one layer Oops. because um, it's manipulated as a single object. Unfortunately, we can't make them different colors, but you can get creative maybe with different shading options or whatever. So anyway, that's really it. I just wanted to um, spend a few minutes and uh, practice drawing this guy and doing it on the tablet and understanding and working with the limitations that it you know has and figured maybe it would inspire somebody to play around a little bit so anyway guys that's it um you know thanks for watching if you were here live um and if you're watching it after the fact thanks for checking in so anyway guys that's it talk to you later